Well, 2020 is having many of us learn new skills, some that we never imagined ourselves doing, and baking seems to be one of the most common. So how can we truly make sure Santa gets the best batch of Christmas cookies? My co-anchor Channing Curtis gives us the full scoop. Every year during the holidays, my mom and I have a tradition to where we pull out this old cookbook that my grandfather gave her a long time ago for Christmas, and we bake some of our favorite Christmas cookies. It's one of my favorite things to do. But this year, of course, things are different. So I'm doing a lot of baking at home. And in case you didn't know, Baking can be very difficult, and it's a lot more to it than just following a recipe. So I decided to speak to some local experts on ways that we can make sure that all of our cookies are soft and our cakes don't fall flat. And it's more in the procedure than it is in the ingredients a lot of times. Robert Owens is the owner of Traditions and Corner Bakery in Tyler, so he definitely knows a thing or two about baking. He says rule number one is read the recipe all the way through before you do anything. Follow a recipe, and there's reasons why you put it in a mixing bowl or you add this first and then that first, you know. You want to sometimes make sure the flour and the sugar mix well together. If you add them last, they don't and they're lumpy. And now baking is a science. Add your ingredients together at the wrong time or put in too much or too little of something and you'll wind up with a big old mess. And sometimes it's not the order how you do it, but also the procedure like our pumpkin rolls or the recipe is pretty easy. But rolling out the, the, the cake and and then doing the cream cheese mixture and how to roll that up and ha not have it all fall apart, we ruined a bunch of them before we got it down. So it's not as much the recipe sometimes as the procedure. Lara is the owner of Pied Piper Bakery in Lindu. Now she says when it comes to cookies, let them chill a bit before putting them in the oven. I chill your dough. Make your cookie dough, um, put it in a, one of those big Ziploc bags, make it nice and flat so that you're not dealing with a ball. Leave it in there for an hour or two when you bring it back out. Now you can actually start rolling it out and it's colder. So when you put it in, it's not going to burn because it's not a mess and it's not going to lose its shape. It's going to hold shape better. And another thing, put your cookies on parchment paper. Um, that's a huge thing because a lot of times what will happen is if you put it on that metal, it will burn. It gets too hot, but that parchment paper acts as a barrier. So if you add it on there and you have it chilled, by the time you bring them out, they're beautiful and they're soft and they're not crunchy or hard or burnt on the bottom. And if you aren't too pleased with what comes out of the oven, that's all right. If you end up making one that's a little bit too dark, a, a secret is flip it over and then ice the dark part. That way, if you're giving them as a gift to someone else, they're not turning it over and going, oh, she burnt this one. They're actually going, wow, she did a really good job. And they'll never know because the frosting is covering up the dark. Now those are some tips from the pros. Now by no means am I an expert baker, but I do make a pretty good cookie, if I say so myself. So head over to our website at cbs19.tv for Chan's Christmas Cookie Recipe. It's an easy one, but it definitely will please a crowd. And the best part is you can always add in your own spices or flavors to make it your own.